Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the different types of bugs. As in the previous lecture, we had discussed a bug is a condition where the expected and the actual behavior of a particular software is not matching. There is no software without bugs. Every day, testers all over the world encounter new type and new software defects and issues but some of them become very common as they appear more frequently than others. Some of those common type of bugs are incorrect calculations, functional errors, error handling error, communication errors, syntactic errors, missing command errors and boundary related errors. So when we come to the incorrect calculations, this type of problem can be caused by a lot of reasons. For example, a wrong algorithm, data type mismatch, or just coding errors. Sometimes a cost of these bugs can be very high. As we have discussed in the early lecture, one of the examples for this incorrect calculation is the famous Airain 5, a rocket which is developed by the European Space Agency error. The Airain 5 was supposed to float in the space but in reality, it ended up in exploding after its launching. Money losses were estimated at $500 million and the reason was an unpredictable conversion from a 64-bit floating point number to a 16-bit signed integer value. As a result, 16-bit were not enough to represent the necessary value, so the calculations went wrong. So a mismatched or incorrect calculation had destroyed the project Airain 5 which results in a money loss of more than 500 million dollars. The second type is the functional errors. All the functionality of any program should operate correctly. It means that an expected result of operations should coincide with an actual one. But sometimes the function fails to perform the actual operations what is expected. As far as there are programs which have quite a big range of functions, there is great probability of bug omission. Such type of errors can vary from unclickable buttons to inability to use the main functionalities of the software. The third one is the error handling errors. All the software problems occurred during an interaction with the user should be handled successfully. Besides, a user should be clearly informed about the cause of the problem and possible ways out. If a user types something incorrectly, that particular user should receive a quite informative message not to do the same mistake again. A famous example for the error handling error is in 1997 the USS Yorktown, a US Navy ship, drifted for two hours because of a software crash. One of the crew members typed zero to the database and made the computer to divide a particular value by zero. That caused a buffer overrun and let the program crash and loss of ship control for two hours. The fourth one is the communication errors. Software should be easily to use and provide all necessary instructions and recommendations for users to interact with a program. Sometimes it happens that a new feature is implemented but we cannot find it even using the documentation. Also, if we have uploaded a file or have sent a letter we should receive a message with the operation status. Errors of this type seems not so serious, but actually they can make the customer select another competitors of the same category instead of selecting our particular program. So once we are in touch with a customer, that particular program or software should be updated and those updates should be correctly intimated to the user and collect the feedbacks as well as the reports and suggestions in correct time itself. The fifth one is the syntactic errors. 
we all are humans and may make grammar mistakes especially it happens when the product is translated into different languages while testing the graphical user interface of the product it is important to switch the language and check the correspondence of the elements with the documentation the sixth one is a missing command errors Sometimes it happens that you cannot close a pop-up window without performing some actions even if we don't want to do that. This is a missing command error that can be not only the absence of a button but also the absence of a logical portion or logical option occurred while the coding of that particular program. The seventh one is the boundary related error. In our life everything has a limit the same we can say about the software resources maximum text size maximum number of simultaneous users the memory limit allocated for one element if all this is not anticipated by the developer it will definitely cause problems probably the most famous problem of this type is the year 2000 problem or it is also known as millennium bug or the problem y2k previously in the majority of the programs years were represented only with the two digits for example the number 85 or 98 simply means the year 1985 and 1998 respectively the problem arose when it came to the year 2000 because the computer systems would have interpreted 00 which we means as 2000 and that computer interpret that particular 00 as 1900 though the problem was anticipated it still cost around 300 billion dollar throughout the world to deal with that particular problem so this boundary related error should be anticipated by the developer and that may definitely cause some problem while execution so my dear students these are the different type of common bugs or errors in the software engineering field so hope you had understood this topic so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is define the following incorrect calculation functional errors error handling errors communication errors syntactic errors missing command errors and boundary related errors so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the path to testing in software engineering so my dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best